uh, one of the presentations I was most excited about at the AAN um, was the open label extension from the GW um, trial in tuberous sclerosis complex. Uh, taking care of patients with tuberous sclerosis has been a focus of the majority of my career. Uh, and we know that two thirds of patients with tuberous sclerosis develop highly refractory epilepsy, so much higher than in the general epilepsy population. What we saw in the randomized control portion of the trial is that similar to LGS and Dravet, uh, CBD appears to be effective for many people with refractory seizures in TSC. Uh, what we learned from the open label extension is similar to the LGS trial and Dravet trial is that efficacy is maintained uh, and the tolerability is good. The difference between the TS trial and the LGS and Dravet trials is that the doses of CBD were higher as opposed to 10 and 20 milligrams per kilogram per day in the TSC trial is 25 and 50 milligrams per kilogram per day. So what we learned from the randomized control portion uh, is that efficacy is there. It doesn't, it's not really linear. The efficacy at 50 mg per kg is pretty similar to what we saw in the other trials at 20, 25 mg per kg. Um, but the higher um, the concentration or a higher dose is also pretty well tolerated. As expected, there were more adverse events, and particularly more cases of diarrhea, uh, more fatigue, um, but I think it's it's important to know that if patients do need to titrate up to those higher doses, uh, that we know it can still be safe and well tolerated and effective. Another one of the um, abstracts at the AAN that involved GW CBD trials was an abstract about the tu tuberous sclerosis CBD trial. Uh, and that was a really interesting abstract looking at in patients in those trials, how soon was efficacy seen? Uh, of interest because when we start a patient on a medication, it's important to know kind of we will take weeks to titrate up to a certain level before we see efficacy or it can it be seen earlier. Another reason to look at this is since the trial did include higher doses of 25 to 50 milligrams per kilogram per day, looking to see how soon we saw efficacy would also let us know would those patients also possibly respond at a lower dose like we saw in the LGS and the Dravet trials. And so what was seen in that um, was efficacy was seen pretty early. Was um, Typically efficacy, I think, was seen within the first two weeks of the trial, so during the titration as people were working up to their dose. Um, so that was also good. We also learned from that data analysis that the adverse events are also seen um, kind of relatively early and many resolve then with course of treatment. So again, letting us know that with our patients, if we do start them on CBD, GWCBD, that we can let the families know that they won't have to wait months to see efficacy from this drug, which matters. If you're watching your child or if you're having seizures daily, it's good to know it won't take months, hopefully for a medication to work, but maybe a matter of weeks. Uh, and also that if we are going to have tolerability issues, we will see them early. Uh, and we're also learning how to really troubleshoot those. Um, so to make sure that our patients tolerate this medication well.